I was really hoping that we would all be watching Game 7 of the NBA Finals right now. Instead, any of us rooting for Chris Paul is left once again to pick up the pieces. Seriously, how did he not win it all this time? Another two games to none lead? Or that time in Houston? Or that time in LA with the Clippers? Or that time in New Orleans with the Hornets? It's been rough for Chris. He did not have a good finals. Booker played his heart out too. He deserves better than this. But this video is not about the Suns, because as much as I was rooting for them to pull this out, this video is about Giannis Antetokounmpo. No matter who you had in this year's NBA Finals, and no matter how much you wanted a Game 7, you have to admit that we were all witness to nothing short of a miracle. Not just a basketball miracle, I'm talking about the miracle of human structure and science that is the Greek freak. I know most of the people watching this video all know this, but let's just take a moment to appreciate the journey, how we got from this moment to this one. Over the years I've seen a lot of ugly knee injuries, limbs bending the wrong way in the wrong spot, and I think the moment this happened, in Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals, everyone assumed the worst that Giannis was done for the remainder of the postseason and the Bucks were going to be left flailing in the wind. That's just what the limits of the human body are. We watch this man's knee land, plan itself, and be forced into bending backwards at a painfully severe ankle. Maybe you might have covered your eyes with your hands at that point, but if maybe you were curious enough to keep watching through that little space between your fingers, you saw something kind of impressive. Giannis was being helped off the court by a team trainer and by his brother, but he seemed kind of determined to walk under his own power to the locker room, at least part of the way, and the TNT cameras showed us exactly that. And that led me to ask this question, what manner of man is this? Have we ever seen this before? And does this mean there's a chance he's not done? I thought about his nickname, the Greek Freak. The word freak in this context implies stronger than a mere mortal, physical power and ability beyond our comprehension. That's exactly what this was, people. For him to basically walk this off was freakish. That was on June 29th in a game the Bucks lost and Atlanta tied the series at two games apiece. Giannis, as you would expect, did not play in games five or six. Somehow, without their best player, the Bucks were resilient enough to win the next two games, although it helped that Atlanta star Trey Young also hampered greatly by injury. I mean, wasn't just everybody this season taking a turn with an injury during the playoffs? So then I guess it's only fitting that the title go to the star who can best overcome the hand he was dealt, because by the time they started Game 1 of the NBA Finals, Giannis was ready to start and he looked like he was never even hurt. By Game 2, the Freak was back to dropping 42. In Game 4, he read the alley-oop pass and went up and blocked DeAndre Ayton from throwing it down. By Game 5, he was ready when Booker got stripped by Holiday and sealed the deal by slamming home a lob of his own and the foul. A critical foul shot he made, by the way. The whole Bucks team deserves credit because they played out of their minds on the road to win that Game 5. They shot 58% from the field in the game and 62% through the first three quarters. And just when it looked like the Suns finally had them, Drew Holiday literally rips the game from Devin Booker's hands so Giannis can throw it down and end it. And then there was Game 6. He caps this literally miraculous finals performance with a 50 bomb that was Shaq-like in his efficiency and his ability to get into the paint and dominate except for one thing that was decidedly not Shaq-like. His free throw shooting. The man who had been taunted all postseason with the counting to 10 from every crowd other than his suddenly couldn't miss a free throw. He was shooting at a 50 to 60 percent clip throughout the playoffs and on that night he went 17 of 19 from the strike to add to his 16 field goals and 14 boards and 5 blocked shots. Some years you wonder who's going to get the finals MVP when it's all over. This year, there was no wondering, no doubt in anyone's mind. It was Giannis. And for someone who still feels for Chris Paul, who is rooting for him, frustrated at every turn by this freak's amazing turnaround, I have to give the man his respect. Congrats Giannis Antetokounmpo on your first NBA championship. You've earned it, 
and it probably won't be your last. And congrats Milwaukee fans, breaking your title drought at exactly 50 years with an exactly 50 point clinching performance from your star. Sadly no word yet on how long Phoenix goes before their now 53 year drought comes to an end. Also a shout out to Kevin Durant, because if the little front edge of his sneaker did not give the three point line a little kiss, none of this would have ever happened. And we'd probably be talking about a Brooklyn Nets title right now, but that's neither here nor there. A league full of super teams just got eclipsed by a freak. Peace out everybody.